Let's go ahead and get our minds on one accord and usher in the spirit of the Lord today. Oh, 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 oh. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Said I want to see you. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart. Said I want to see you. Said I want to see you. I want to see you. Lord, help me sing. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Said I want to see you. I want to see you. Come on, open the eyes up. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Said I really need to see you. I want to see you. Come on. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power. Pour out your power and love. As we sing holy, 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 holy. I want, I want to see you. I wanna, I wanna see you. Come on, help me sing. Open, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. I need you to open, open the eyes of my heart. I wanna see, I wanna you. see you. I really need to see. I you. wanna see you. Come on, I'm asking you to open the eyes, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Glorify my mind. I want to see I want to see you I really need to see I want to see you Come on say open the eyes of my heart 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 I want to see you I really need to see I want to see you to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power in love. Pour out your power in love. As we sing, holy, as we sing, holy, holy, holy. 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 Holy, holy, holy. I wanna, I wanna see you. One more time, open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart. I wanna, I wanna see you. I really need to see you. I wanna see you. Come on, say open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. Open Lord. the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart. Oh, I wanna see you. I wanna see you. I wanna see you. To see you to high, see you. high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power in love. 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 Cause I want to see you. So grateful to be back out in the house of prayer. Amen. So good to see everybody. Amen. God is good. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. With all this pandemic and stuff, and you don't get to see anybody anyway. And when we come together, it's just a joy. Amen. I didn't realize how much I needed all you folks. Amen. Amen. But nevertheless, God is good. Amen. He protects us and keeps us from all hurt, harm, and danger. I don't know what I'd do without the Lord in my life. Amen? Because great is the Lord, and he's greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. Amen? You can look high, you can look low, you can look to the seas or whatever, but you ain't going to find no God like our God. Amen? Amen. I'm truly grateful to be in the, uh, just in that number. Amen? You're sitting here today in heavenly places. Amen? Amen. We didn't have to be here. So many people that went to sleep last night, they didn't even wake up this morning. So the fact that you're here alive, I don't see any wheelchairs. Amen. You, you got your health and your strength. You got everything. You got Jesus. Amen. <laughs> That's all we need. Amen. Uh, it's, 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 it's a bad thing not to die with the COVID, but it's a, it's a worse thing to die with the COVID without Christ in your life. Amen. So we got Jesus today, and we're going to celebrate Jesus today, amen? Because he's the reason for this season that's coming up, amen? And he's the reason for our lives, our everyday lives, amen? He's just it. He's all we need, amen? Everything that we need is in Jesus. And I'm so thankful that he saw me one day and picked me up out of my mess and turned me around, set my feet on a solid ground, amen? So thankful, so thankful, so grateful, amen. Right now, we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. If there's anyone who has a spoken request, you can stand now and let it be known or simply just by raising your hand. Amen. Sister Yolanda. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. Yes. Man. Amen. Sister Cora. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. All right. Man. Yes. Amen. Mother Davis. Praise Lord. Yes. Man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Man. Man. Yes. Man. Yes. Amen. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Man, Deacon Fields. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Man. Sister Yolanda? Yes. Mm-hmm. Amen. I remember the Smith family. Sister Dorothy Frazier's father passed away this yeah. weekend. So pray that God will strengthen their hearts and comfort them in their time of bereavement. Also pray for all the people in Mississippi. The COVID is so bad down there. And my mom and my sister and my dad, they're down there. So pray for them. It, it, it's bad. The hospitals are full. So even if they go, they just send them back home. They don't have any room, you know. So pray for the state of Mississippi with that COVID. And let us pray for one another. Amen. Pray for our children. Pray for our grandchildren. Pray to get, keep them covered under the blood. Amen. Remember our pastor, like she said, all the leaders. Because the leaders need prayer, amen? I mean, you're standing ag up against some wicked men now. Wicked times. And if you're the church and state, they almost want to get rid of. You know, they want the, both of them to become the same thing, I guess I'm past. They're trying to get them both church and state now. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to come. So you're here now and you're enjoying Jesus. You better enjoy him. Because it's going to come a time where you ain't going to even be able to come in this building. And I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's coming. So you better hide that word in your heart. And you better get all the word that Bishop and, and whoever is here passes forth and hide it in your heart. Keep it because you're going to need it. Amen? Amen. We ain't seen nothing yet. We're supposed to be gone out of here before the man of sin comes. But, hey, before that, we don't know what we're going to have to go through. So I'm telling you, we're in the last days. Get ready and stay ready. Amen? Amen. All right. No other, no other prayer requests? All right. I'm going to ask everyone to stand. We're going to have Pastor Bishop lead us in prayer. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and just give the Lord a good hand praise. Because he's worthy to be praised. Uh, he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Let every heart pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, as we stand here in your presence, as we give you thanks, as we magnify your holy and precious name. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. We thank you, Lord, for our health and our strength, Lord. We thank you for provision. We thank you, Lord, for making ways out of no way. Hallelujah, for lifting us up. Hallelujah, for giving us a mind to praise you to giving us a mind to worship you, for giving us a mind to call on your holy and precious name. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, we magnify your name. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord. We magnify you and lift you up, uh, for there's no other help that we know. And Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would hear our humble cry, that you hear our cry, Lord. You see all our faults. You see all of our needs. You see, Lord, in the name of Jesus, the conditions and the situations. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you take charge. We pray, Lord, that you manifest your greatness. We pray, Lord, that you manifest your goodness. We pray, Lord, that you awesomely show forth your power and your glory. Hallelujah, Lord, we pray that thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, you give us this day our daily bread and you forgive us of our trespasses and forgive us of our sins and our faults as we forgive those that trespass against us. And Lord, we pray that you lead us not, lead us not into temptation, but Lord, you deliver us. Oh my God, Lord, deliver us. Hallelujah, Lord, deliver us. Show forth your hand. Show forth your power. Show forth your anointing. Lord, we won't go until you bless our soul. Lord, we won't go until you show forth your glory. And come on, in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless each and every request that's been made known to you. Lord, bless our finances, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless our finances, Lord. Even in a pandemic, Lord, show forth your, your power. Even in a pandemic, Lord, hallelujah, in a drought, in a season of lack, Lord, you show yourself more than enough. Show forth your more than enough. Glory. In the name of Jesus. 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 Lord, you bind every evil spirit and every demonic force that wants to come up against us. Hey, in the name of Jesus, we declare and decree that we are the head and not the tail. We declare and decree that you are our strength, that you are our refuge, that you are our fortress, that you are a very present help hey, in the time of trouble. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, hallelujah, that you bless the bereaved families. Hallelujah. You said comfort those that mourn. Hallelujah. Bless those that are weak in the name of Jesus. And Lord, those that have lost their way. My God, we ask you to reclaim the backslider. Hey, Moshe. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Those that are confused, Lord. Hallelujah. Wondering. Hallelujah. Where you are. Lord, we pray that you show up. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Those that are seeking jobs. Those that are seeking opportunity. Those are building themselves up. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you show them the way. Hallelujah. That you show forth your glory. That you show forth your strength. Hallelujah. And Lord, we'll magnify you. Hey, Lord, we'll praise you all the way through it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we'll praise you all the way through it. We won't stop. We can't stop. Hey, hallelujah. We'll magnify you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Let even the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts, let it be acceptable in thy sight. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, we pray. Hey, Lord, we pray. Hallelujah, because you told us to ask. You told us to seek. You told us to knock. Hallelujah, you told us, Lord. Hallelujah, so that you can show up. Uh, so that you can manifest. Hallelujah, now manifest, Lord. Hallelujah, we've done what you said for us to do. Manifest, Lord. Hallelujah, we cried out to you, Lord. Show up, Lord. Show forth your power. Show forth your anointing. Show forth your glory. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you. Oh, come on, shah. Hallelujah, we praise you, Lord. In the precious and the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, in Jesus' name, amen. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah, come on and just praise him. If you received your blessing, come on and praise him. If you're walking by faith and not by sight, come on and praise him. Hey, if you know that God is going to make a way, come on and just praise him. Just praise him in advance. Put a blessing on it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, please remain standing uh, for the reading of our word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm going to be reading out of the 46th Division of Psalms. Thank you, Lord. God is our refuge and strength, very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Selah, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, 
the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. The, he breaketh the end, he breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with thee. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Be still and know that he's God. Hallelujah. Praise him. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Lord of hosts, he is with us. Amen. Be still and know that he is God. Amen. Father, we love you today, Father. And we just want to pour our love on you, our gratitude. Let us let you know that, Lord, we just love you. And we appreciate everything that you do for us. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless your name today, Father. You're good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Say, Lord, I love you. 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 More than anything. More than anything. Say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Oh, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. More than anything. Can we say that one more time? Lord, I love you. 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 More than anything. More than anything. And Lord, I praise you. Lord, I praise you. I lift my hands and raise you. I lift my hands and raise you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I more than you. anything. More than anything. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Say, Lord, I love you. 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 More than anything. Yeah. Say, Lord, I praise you. Lord, I praise you. I lift my hands and raise you. I lift my hands and raise you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I praise you. More than anything. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. More than anything. I love you, Lord. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. 
He's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on. Say he's worthy. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of the praise. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Say I love you. I love you. More than anything, I love you. 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 More than anything, I love you. 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 More than anything, I love you. 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 Say more than anything. I love you. I love you. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. More than anything. I praise you. 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 You're worthy. 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 Worthy. You're worthy. I love you. 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 I love Lord God, say more than anything, more than anything. anything. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Anything. You're worthy, Lord, more than anything. You've been a good father yeah, yeah. to us, Lord. Ooh. Say more than anything. More than anything. Hallelujah. We bless you today, Father. More than anything. We love you. Just want to show our gratitude towards you, Father. Because you first love us, amen? Hallelujah, we bless you. Thank you, Jesus. You're good, Father. And you've been our strength like no other. Thank you, Jesus. We don't take it lightly, Father. Your strength is made perfect where we're weak, Father. Wherever we fall short, Father, your strength comes in and it's perfect for us, amen? Hallelujah, we bless your name today. You're worthy, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, and it reaches to me. You are my strength, yeah, strength like no other, strength like no other. Come on, let us worship him. Reaches to me. He's the King of kings. He's the Lord of lords. You are my strength. You are my strength. Yeah, strength like like no no other. Strength like no other. And it reaches to me. Come on, worship him. You are my strength, my strength. Yeah, strength like no other. Strength like no other. Yes, Lord. And I'm so glad it reaches to me. Hallelujah. In the fullness, in the fullness of your grace. Power of your name. Hallelujah. You lift me up. Said I'm coming up. Now. I'm coming up now. You lift me up. Somebody ought to 
to give them glory. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name, you lift me up. So glad reaches that it reaches unfailing love, unfailing love, yeah, stronger, stronger than mountains, and it's deeper, deeper than ocean, and it reaches us to me in the fullness of. In the fullness of your grace, come on. In the power of your name, Glory. you lift me up. Said I'm coming up now. I'm coming up now. You lift me up. In the fullness of your grace, in the power of your Said I'm coming up, now. I'm coming up now. You lift me up in the fullness, in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name. You lift me up. I'm coming up now. You lift me up. You are my strength. Strength like no other, and 
I'm so glad it reaches to me. Amen. God bless you. You strength. Glory. Strength. Amen. Strength like no other. Amen. How many know that the Lord is actually your strength? Hallelujah. I remember one time I was going through something so bad. And I said, Lord, I'm tired of being strong. And the Holy Ghost said to me, you ain't strong. Say, the Lord taking you through this. You ain't, go, you ain't got no strength. And of our own selves, we don't have any strength. We are so weak, amen? But it's the Lord that's our strength, amen? And the sooner you realize that, the better off you'll be. Because you'll pray more, amen? Hallelujah. We pray more when we realize that our sufficiency is of God, amen? Amen. And he said that his grace is sufficient, amen? No matter what we go through, no matter what situation we're in, his grace is sufficient. Amen. Amen. Right now we're going to change the order of our services. Amen. And uh, come to you with um, afternoon announcements, almost afternoon. We have a visitor today. Her name is Nanny. Nani. Where are you, Nani? Amen. Welcome to Christian Ministries. Amen. Amen. Beautiful young lady. Amen. If we have any other visitors, just raise your hand. Amen. We'd like to let you know that you're welcome here at Christian Ministries. Welcome to be with us in any of our public services. Come out to our Bible class on Wednesdays. You will. It will do thee good. Amen. We have beautiful Bible classes, 6 o'clock, every Wednesday. Amen. Amen. All right. And we have a, a, a statement of purpose. Amen. It's to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ through effective, responsible ministry and intentional, creative, dynamic fellowship. Our core values are that we value love, we value persistence, we value patience, we value commitment, we value sacrifice, we value service, and we value you. Our vision statement is to be a caring fellowship, leading souls to Jesus Christ, strengthening members and families, making disciples and equipping them for service and community ministry. Amen? Amen. And we ask that all of our visitors, don't let this be your last time. Amen. Come with us. Amen. If you don't have a church home, consider Christian ministries. Amen. Amen. Good word here. Good bishop. Amen. Amen. God has blessed this man. I've seen, I, I saw, I heard his first sermon. And it wasn't bad. It was beautiful. It's the blood that makes the difference. Amen. I mean, I saw him grow up in the Lord, amen? So, I mean, he's... It was never a little baby because he got up there, he acted like he had been preaching for years, amen? Amen. The anointing was there. It was just beautiful, amen? Amen. All right, right now we're going to change the order of our service, amen? It's blessing time, amen? How many know that you can't beat God given? Amen? No matter how hard you try, amen? Because whatever you give to the Lord, he will multiply it and give it back to you. Amen? And sometimes your blessings isn't always monetary, amen? Sometimes you get protected from accidents, sicknesses, amen? Like we're being protected from this pandemic right now, amen? Amen. That's a blessing in itself. If I had a million dollars, I'd throw it in the basket just for that. Amen? Amen? For protecting me from this pandemic. Amen? Amen. Because none of us knows. You never know. That's why we need to love on one another now. Amen? Nah, this might be a, They used to sing a song in the South, this may be my last time. Amen? So love on one another. Amen? No time for not liking anybody. Amen? God is love. I say no love, no God. Amen? Amen. All right. I'm going to ask everyone to stand in your perspective places.
Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask, Lord, that you'll bless this offering, Lord, for the building up of Christian ministries, the building up of your kingdom. Bless everyone that gives, Lord, all those that don't have to give, asking that you'll bless them, Lord, in order that they might have to give, Lord. And we'll praise you right now for the victory in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Deacon Fields is going to walk around and come to everybody. Lord, you are awesome. Come on, sing, Lord, you are awesome. Come on and sing, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. Come on and sing, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for your love, wasn't, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know, I don't know where I'd be without you. Somebody help me sing, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. Come on, help me sing. Say, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. Come on and raise your voice. Sing, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. Come on and help me sing. Say, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. If it wasn't for. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know, I don't know where I'd be without you. Amen. I'd just like to take a little time to thank all the ones that sent me texts, sent me, uh, called me on the phone, brought me food. It was so good. Everything that I received, it was so good. Amen. And Pastor Tom, I'm losing weight. I gained some weight. All that food, it was so good. I, I, I started eating and my stomach was full, but my mouth just wasn't satisfied. So I wasn't satisfied till I ate it all up. Amen. So, y'all, next time, kind of cut down a little bit, amen? But thank you all so much. It, everything was just delicious, amen? Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce to some and to present to others none other than our own bishop, Bishop Frankie L. Quinn. Let us receive him with a hearty amen. Oh, you are awesome. Come on, if you believe it, why don't you sing it? Sing. Lord, you are awesome. Come on and help me sing, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. We serve Come an awesome on and Lord. Help me sing, Lord, you are awesome. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for your love, was it if for, it wasn't for your grace, I don't know. I don't know where I. Be without you. Oh, if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for your love, was it if for, it wasn't for your grace? I don't know, I don't know where I'd be without you. Hey. Say you are awesome. You are awesome. Come on, say you are awesome. You are awesome. Say you are awesome. You are awesome. Say, Lord, you're awesome. You are awesome. For waking me up today. You are awesome. For keeping me in my right mind. You are awesome. Come on, say you are awesome. You are awesome. I know he is awesome. You are awesome. Come on. And did he pick you up hey. and turn you around? Hey. Pick you up and turn you around. And did he place your feet on solid ground? Place your feet on solid ground. Come on, did he pick you up and turn you around? Pick you up and turn me around. Come on, and did he place your feet on solid ground? Place 
place my feet on solid ground. Say you are awesome. You are awesome. Say Lord, you're awesome. You are awesome. Say Lord, you're awesome. You are awesome. I know he is awesome. You are awesome. One more time, did he pick you up and turn you around? Picked you up and he turned you around. And did he place your feet on solid ground? Place my feet on solid ground. Come on, did he pick you up and turn you around? Pick me up and turn me around. And did he place your feet on solid ground? Place my feet on solid ground. Say you are awesome. You are awesome. Say the Lord is awesome. You are awesome. He's a healer. You are awesome. I know he's a deliverer. You are awesome. I know that he's a way maker. You are awesome. I know you are awesome. You are awesome. I know you are awesome. You are awesome. One more time. Did he pick you up and turn you around? Pick me up and turn me around. Come on, did he place your feet on solid ground? Place my feet on solid ground. And did he heal your body and tell you to run? Oh, heal me up and turn me around. And did he heal your body and tell you to run? Oh, heal your body and told me to run. Oh, heal my body and told me to run. Oh, heal my body and told me to run. And did he place your feet on solid ground? Place my feet on solid ground. Hey, did he pick you up and turn you around? Pick me up and turn me around. And did he place your feet on solid ground? Place my feet on solid ground. Come on, tell him you are awesome. You are awesome. I know that you are awesome. You are awesome. I know that he is awesome. You are awesome. Come on, give him some glory. You are awesome. If it wasn't for your love, yes. If it wasn't for your grace, I don't know. I don't know where I'd be without you. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, come on and give the Lord a praise. Come on and give Him a praise. Hallelujah! Did He not pick you up and turn you around? Yes. Did He not place your feet on solid ground? Hallelujah! Oh, 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 say oh, 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 come on and give the Lord a praise. Say oh, say oh, oh, say oh. And wasn't for your grace. Your grace. I don't know no. where I'd be without you. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. If you're depending on him, come on and give him a praise. Hallelujah. If you know where your help comes from, you ought to give the Lord Hallelujah. a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're thankful for his grace, if you're thankful Thank for you. his love, Thank you ought you. to give him a praise. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Thank you. Hallelujah. He picked us up and he turned us around and he certainly placed our feet on solid ground. Lord, we can declare that you are awesome. Come on, just give him one more praise. Hallelujah. It's good to praise him in the house. Uh, joy in the house. Peace in the house. Deliverance in the house. Hey, glory. Asaph said that he came into the house of the Lord and he was discouraged. Thank you, Lord, because 
he saw the wicked prospering more than the righteous. He was discouraged because he knew God was awesome, but he was looking around and saw how the wicked was getting over, how the wicked was getting by. But then the Bible says, and he came to the house of the Lord. You know, it's good to bring your issues and your complaints to the house of the Lord. You know, the Lord ain't intimidated by your, your complaints. He ain't intimidated by your questions. Am I right? And he said there was in the house of the Lord, hallelujah, that he gained a great knowledge and understanding of the power of God. It's in the house of the Lord where you can gain your strength, where you can gain your wisdom, where you can gain your knowledge, where you can gain your understanding. So I can see why he said, I was glad when they said unto me, uh, let us go into the house of the Lord. And you know, God has a protocol when you come into his house. He says, enter in his gates with thanksgiving and enter in his courts with praise. Hallelujah. My soul looks back in wonder how we got over. Come on and just give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. It's good to praise him. Thank you. Let's comely to praise him. If I had 10,000 tongues, I'd tell them all to praise him. Hallelujah, because he's good. And as we get ready to go before the Lord and the word of God on today, we certainly want to give God thanks and praise for our lovely wife, Lady Tracy Quinn. Thank God for her, First Lady. Thank you, Lord. You know, I'm going to put this in y'all heart. If anything happens to me, I want y'all to take care of her. Amen? Hallelujah. Just take care of her. Take care of her more than I would take care of her. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Be, be up there and you're taking care of her. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. And we certainly do thank God for Pastor Duck being back. The Lord healed her body. Amen. Thank God for Minister Grady. Thank God for our deacons. And thank God for our ushers and our media team. And thank God for all of you. Amen. That have been coming to the house of the Lord. Thank God for Brother Douglas being back. Amen. And Sister Michelle, amen, being back. Thank God. I know she got a praise report about her brother. Amen. Her twin brother. Hallelujah. God is a good God. I say, God is a good God. Yes, he is. Amen. And I'm going to get out of your way pretty quickly here. But I just want to say that uh, I was looking at the calendar for our move and and, you know, I was going to give you the date of our actual move. And I'm looking and I'm seeing that uh, Christmas fall uh, on a, uh, what is it, Friday? And then the day after is Saturday. I said, we don't want to move in. And then I'm looking at New Year's, New Year's fall on a Friday or something. I said, Lord, we don't want to move in. So I looked at, we're going to move, I believe it is the 9th, amen, of January. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's good not to be in a hurry. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So y'all put that in y'all brothers, especially put that in y'all in y'all calendar and sisters. Amen. So that we can move and and um, uh, to where God wants us to be. Amen. On 930 Liberty Street. Amen. Hallelujah. God is certainly good and he's working miracles in our life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And I uh, want the church to stand uh, with me. Um, and uh, we know that the enemy uh, is fighting. Amen. And I want you to turn with me to 2 Timothy chapter number 2. Chapter number 2. And um, we want to go on some fasting and praying. Amen. This week, Thursday. Amen. Thursday at midnight. Well, let me say Thursday at midnight. Amen. You know, when Thursday comes, after Wednesday, then there's midnight, you know, and then there's Thursday. Amen. So that day, Thursday, the beginning of Thursday, I want you to pray and fast till 4 o'clock. Amen. Pray and fast till 4 o'clock. And I heard one preacher, <laughs> and I kind of, uh, well, uh, he said I kind of took, I was tickled by it, but he said he had a disclaimer when he was telling the saints to fast. He says, Check with your medical providers. <laughs> you know, thank you, Jesus. Amen. So if you got to, check with your medical providers. I know why he was saying it, because he didn't want to get sued. 
Amen. This, that's the time we're living in. Amen. So uh, pray and fast. And we're praying and fasting for strength. Praying for fasting for strength. Amen. We need God's strength, don't we? Amen. We need the help of the Lord, don't we? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And let us pray and fast and consecrate ourselves. Amen. Unto the Lord to destroy the yokes and break down the barriers. Amen. So in 2 Timothy chapter number 2, and uh, just want that first verse there, and then we're going to go to St. John, St. John chapter uh, number 1, um, the Second Timothy chapter number 2, verse number 1, it says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ. Can we read that together? Thou, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ. Amen. And I want you to turn with me to the book of First uh, Book of John, chapter number one. Amen. John, chapter number one. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor Duck mentioned my first sermon. It's the blood that makes a difference. And uh, we thank God for that. Amen. And I think my wife made mention of it earlier uh, last week or so. Thank you, Jesus. The blood that makes the difference. Thank you, Jesus. May I need to re-preach that. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. John chapter number one. And uh, drop down with me. Um, I know that I had given. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 13. It says, which are born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And that 15th verse says, John bear witness of him and cried, saying, This was he of whom I spake, he that cometh after me is preferred before me. And for he was before me. And I'm going to read verse 16, and it says, And of his fullness have all we received grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man have seen God at any time, the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father. He hath declared him. Let us pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, as we say thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to stand here before this great people behind this great sacred desk. We ask you, Lord, that you sanctify our hearts and our mind and our spirit that we may preach of your word. Father, we thank you and praise you, give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And I want to just take for a thought, amen, today from that 2 Timothy chapter number 2 and verse number 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And that's my thought today. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ. That is in Christ. In this particular uh, chapter, in this particular book, we know that the Apostle Paul uh, was literally 
getting ready to uh, offer himself as a sacrifice and be transitioned as the way of all flesh. In other words, he was about to die. And uh, what I love about the life of Paul, Paul was a man that literally dedicated himself unto the Lord. There are some people that give 10%. There's some people that may even give 50%. But Paul was one of those people that gave 100%. 100% of the time. Paul looked at even the cross of Jesus Christ, not as an emblem of suffering and shame, but as a, a emblem of pride and glory. In fact, he himself identifies himself and said, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, but yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And he was so identified, he said that the life even now that I live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. And Paul had uh, literally given himself uh, for the ministry and for the building up of the body of Christ. He knew his purpose and he knew his calling and his calling and his purpose centered around the edification of the Gentile believers, you and I. He gave his life that he might uh, execute the word of God so that we might be saved. That's no wonder why the uh, greatest amount of the epistles were written by Paul unto us. The greatest amount of the letters were written by Paul for us because God had given him a special assignment and Paul had, at one point, he was in Ephesus, where the Bible says he fought with men like beasts in Ephesus. And he endured trials and he endured tribulations. And when he was about to go into uh, Jerusalem and not knowing the things that were going to befall him there, he made a declaration and he says, None of those things that moved me when they prophesied of his impending death. He said, none of these things moved me. And he said that I'm not willing only to go bound to Jerusalem, but I'm willing to die. I'm willing to give myself for this thing. And Paul was one that was caught up. And he said, I want to know Jesus. I, I want to give my life to know him. Know him in the power of his resurrection. I want to know him through the fellowship of his suffering and literally be made conformable unto this death by any means I may attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Paul, Paul spoke things in words that were hard to be understood. Paul went to the third heaven by revelation and received things that the other apostles did not receive because he had given himself, he given himself unto the Lord and and we're talking about the glory aspect of Paul, but there was some other side of Paul that suffered tribulation. He suffered persecution and he was left for dead. He was fasting uh, when, when he wasn't fasting because there was no food available. And he was left for shipwreck. He was beaten several times for the name of Jesus. He was talked about. He was ostracized. The people looked at Paul and uh, Barnabas had to give him a, a letter of recommendation because when Paul got saved, everybody was scared of him. Hallelujah. Everybody was shook in their boots. Everybody was afraid because Paul had led us to persecute everybody that called on the name of Jesus. Uh, but as we say, he went to a meeting one night. Uh, his heart, his heart just wasn't right. But, but Jesus met him in the way and knocked him off his beast and filled him with the Holy Ghost, told him to go down to Ananias' house. And, and Ananias is there going to tell you everything that you need to know. Paul, you need to be born again. Hallelujah. You need to be born again. And Paul gave his life and has his life for the gospel's sake. And, and he poured sweat and blood into this thing wherein now it was time for him to transition. It was time for him to move on. And, and, and he 
turned unto Timothy, one that he was growing up in the gospel, one that he was pouring into. My God, uh, 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 it's, it's good to, for a pastor to be able to pour into somebody. It's good for a, a minister to be able to pour into somebody. It's good for the saints of God to receive the inflowing, to receive the pouring in. To, my God, I'm reminded of the Psalm, uh, Psalm 23 when he said he anointed my head with oil and my cup runneth over I would to God that somebody would catch the overflow that somebody will open up themselves and, and be poured into and this, this pouring into is, is a sharing of the anointing it's a sharing of the glory it's a sharing of the power it, it reminds me it reminds me of Elisha uh, when he was dealing with Elijah hallelujah and Elijah wanted the portion of the anointing he prayed to God that he would get a double portion of his Lord of his leaders anointing hallelujah and he had to he told him that you had to be there when I go up hallelujah and you'll receive an anointing you receive a double portion my God if people would just hang out hallelujah with with the anointed leaders if the people would just hang out and have a desire oh not only to be be filled but to have a double portion a double portion of God's glory a double portion of God's anointing oh my God do we cry out for a double portion do we desire Lord fill my cup uh, and let it overflow anoint me Lord from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet do we cry out to the God that Lord wash me and I shall be clean oh create in me a clean heart oh my God and renew a right spirit within me my God I feel the anointing in this place and that's what that's what Paul wanted for Timothy he wanted Timothy to be a giant uh, my God in the household of faith because Timothy had an assignment uh, and his assignment was to ordain ministers and to ordain elders and to ordain the bishops. Uh, hallelujah for the Holy Ghost Church. Uh, Timothy's assignment uh, uh, was to put into them uh, what Paul had put into him. Uh, oh my God. Timothy's assignment uh, was to talk about Jesus and uh, to give the people what they needed uh, uh, so that they could can be strong in the Lord uh, and in the power of the might. Uh, my God and Timothy, Timothy had a great responsibility on him. Uh, my God, he had a great role to play in the carrying out uh, of the legacy that Paul had left. Uh, my God, how many of us today we think uh, about our legacy. We think about what God has given us uh, that we should leave what we have and departed into other people so that they can carry out the will of God sometimes my God I feel like preaching uh, sometimes we think only of ourselves uh, of the here and the now uh, but there's something beyond us uh, there's somebody that's going to live after we die uh, there's somebody that's going to go off the scene uh, and when we they're going to be here, uh, alive here in this present earth. Uh, and what are we sharing with the next generation? Uh, what are we giving to those uh, that are going to be around after our departure? Uh, Paul said to Timothy, uh, he said, young man, I fought a good fight. Uh, henceforth, there is laid up for me uh, a crown of righteousness, uh, which the Lord shall give me at that day but Timothy he's not only going to give it to me but he's going to give it to those that love his appearance 
hearing. Oh my God, God, God help us. Help us to look beyond our immediate need. God help us to look beyond what's going on in our lives right now and take everything into full perspective that all things are working together for the good. Lord, whatever I'm experiencing, whatever you're experiencing right now is working for your good. Uh, God is turning situations around only if you just magnify him and realize that in him you live. It is in him you move. It's in him you have your being. Oh my God, if we can just realize, as the scripture says, oh taste and see that the Lord is good. You've got to hang around with the Lord and taste him. You've got to hang out with the Lord and see his goodness. You've got to hang out with the Lord so that he can literally blow your mind. Oh my God, because he's a God that has power beyond your understanding. He's a God that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to ask or think. And he does it according to the dudamus that worketh in you. According to the power that worketh in you. My God, we've got to be careful who we are hanging out with. I don't need to hang around with Debbie Downer. I don't need to hang around with sloop footed, walking footed Johnny. I need to hang around with somebody that is strong in the Lord in the power of his might. I need to hang around with some Pauls that is able to give me a word that is able to encourage my heart. Oh my God, don't hang around with people that are negative all the time. If they're negative all the time, that's going to rub off on you. You're going to walk around and say the Lord can't when the Lord said he can. You're going to walk around and say, oh, woe is me. There's no sense in me moving forward. But you've got to hang around with those that are saying forget about those things that are behind. Reach for those things that are present and press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God which is in Christ Jesus. You got to get around somebody that's got to press. You've got to get around somebody that is seeking after the Lord. You've got to get around somebody that's got to praise down on the inside. I don't know how. I don't know when. But I know God will make a way. I don't know how. I don't know when. But I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. I don't know how. I don't know when. But I've never, no, no, never seen the righteous forsaken. No, a seed begging bread. Oh, my God. One thing I'm assured of, that he that keepeth Israel, he never slumbers, nor does he sleep. I'm assured of weeping may endure for a night but joy how many of you know your joy is coming how many of you know that you're due for a dose of joy oh my god I'm due for a praise I'm due for a shout I'm due for a song I'm due for a dance I'm due for a worship I'm due for seeing the hand of the Lord you ought to give God a praise. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm learning oh, that God has a season. And now it is due season. It's due season. It's time. Time to see God's hand. It's time to declare his glory. It's time for us to raise up and count it all joy.
joy. Oh, tell your neighbor, it's time. Oh, my God, it's time. It's time for me to praise him. It's time for me to shout. It's time for me to give him glory. How do you know it's time? Because the devil is on my track trying to turn me back. How do you know it's time? My bank account is due and I need God to show up. How do you know it's time? First, because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, through the pulling down. You ought to clap your hands and give God a praise. Tell God I'm due for a worship. I'm due for a blessing. I'm due for an anointing. I'm due for an elevation. I'm due. It's my time. Tell the Lord it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. Come on and clap your hands and tell God it's my time. I may not have dotted every I. I may not have crossed every T. But it's my time. It's my time. It's my time to see the hand. It's my time to see your glory. It's my time to praise you in the midnight hour when Jacob, oh my God, was trying to go and get him some help. The heavens open and he says it's my time and I won't let you go until you bless my soul. Why? Because it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. Come on and give God a praise. You've got to speak it in the atmosphere. you got to prophesy over your situation. Prophesy over your condition. And say it's my time. It's my time. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shama. That kabosha. It's my time. Tell your neighbor it's my time. Oh my God. Tell somebody it's my time. It's my time. Lift up your heads, oh ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory, he shall come in. Because it's my time. Because it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your time for blessing. It's your time for anointing. It's your time to see the hand of the Lord. Oh God. Oh God. Somebody shout yeah. Somebody shout yeah. Somebody shout yeah. Yeah Lord. Shout the Lord. Shout Hey, hallelujah. 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 You see, brothers and sisters, because God knows, He knows what to do and when to do it. God knows how to deliver. God knows how to set you free. God knows how to lift you above your enemies. So God wants you to endure like good soldiers of Jesus Christ. And how you're going to endure? You can't endure on your own power. You can't endure on your own worship. You've got to endure all through the power that is in Jesus Christ. You've got to endure through the anointing that is in Jesus. Come on and give God a praise. Shama. Shama. Shanda la bosha. Hey, glory. Shanda la bosha. Hallelujah. Shama haya. Hallelujah. God sees. Tell your neighbor, God sees. God knows. God knows the afflictions of the righteous. Oh, but the Lord is there to deliver us. I said he's there to deliver us. How many of you know he's there to deliver you? He's there to deliver you out of them all. 
Hallelujah. There's nothing. Tell your neighbor, there's nothing. Uh, there's nothing that can stop me. Uh, with Jesus on our side. Tell somebody, there's nothing that can stop you. With Jesus on your side. Why? Because he was wounded for your transgression. He was bruised for your iniquity. And the chastisement of your peace was laid upon Jesus. And with his stripes, you are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. What shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus? Don't let trials. Don't let tribulation. Don't let your tests take you down. If you're going to go down... Go down praying. If you're going to go down, go down worshiping. Because he that shall come, he that shall come, he will come. And he will not tarry. Come on and give God a praise. Loose here. Tell somebody, loose here. I'm anointed. Tell somebody you anoint it. I'm anointed to go through these tests. Tell somebody you're anointed to go through these trials. And if that spirit be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, Shama, let the church stand. See, this Holy Ghost is something else. We built for this thing. Tell somebody I'm built for this. I'm built to praise him. I'm built to give him glory. I'm built to magnify him. Hey, I tell somebody I'm built to endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Tell somebody I'm built. I'm built for this. I'm built for this. You declare it. You decree it in the name of Jesus. Shanda, hallelujah. You know, I had a whole nother message, but the Lord changed up that message. And he wants you to know you next. Huh? You do for a blessing. You do for his glory. You do for his power. You do this to see the hand of the Lord. You do to see, huh? oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Shama, tell somebody I'm next. I'm next. Hallelujah, I'm next. Look out, postman, I'm next. Uh, look out, FedEx, I'm next. Hey, look at Kalabo, Shandalabasha. Look out, uh, devil, I'm next. I'm next in line for a blessing. Hey, my God. My God, I know this is the Lord. I don't sit up here and preach these kind of messages. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. That kind of shandalabasha. Hallelujah. Stay anointed, saints. 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 Tell somebody, make room. Make room in your house. Make room. Make room for your faith. Make room. Make room for the blessing of the Lord. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Pastor Duck, will you pray? Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We built for this. Hallelujah. Nothing catches you by surprise. He built you up. On your most holy faith. Because you were praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You built for this. Let the enemy know I can take this. I can go through this. Because I'm built for it. Hallelujah. The anointing of God has built you up. Hallelujah. And gave you an inheritance among those that are sanctified. Hallelujah. Father. We come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank and praise you, O oh God, for your presence here today. Thank you for walking around, Lord, in our midst. 
We thank you, oh God, for your joy. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your peace. Thank you, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for your strength, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for building us up, Lord. Oh, for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we're asking that you'll keep your hand on us. Walk with us, Lord. Continue, Lord, to keep us, Lord. Keep us with our minds stayed on thee. Oh, and help us to walk worthy of the vocation, Lord, wherewith you have called us. Hallelujah. Help us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of your might. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we're asking that you'll bless us, Lord, beyond measure. Oh, 30, 60, 50, ah, 100 fold, Lord. Bless us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Asking, Lord, that you'll remember our bishop, Lord. Continue to strengthen him, Lord. Continue to feed him, Lord, so that he might feed your people. Oh, Lord, we thank you right now, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for this Holy Ghost, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for the baptism in Jesus' name. And, Lord, we thank you most of all for being our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, O oh God. Hallelujah. For there's no God like our God. Hallelujah. Now, Lord, we're asking that you'll let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord. Our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.